Play of City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby in the kitchen with an assortment of breakfast items on the kitchen island because I had a really cool idea to go to a few different grocery stores and collect a bunch of products for a breakfast haul. But not a breakfast you really have to make from scratch, a semi-homemade one or something where it's prepared product because breakfast recipes and hauls are the most popular ones on my channel. So why not put together a list of some of the healthiest, best quality Bobby approved products at the grocery store for breakfast. And I found some really cool ones, but as usual, the devil's in the details. You have to read the ingredients because sometimes things look so darn good and there's one ingredient that spoils the party. Uh, so we're gonna go through them all and review them. Before we get rock and rolling, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share. All those things are grand, but we have so much content going live every week. I recommend pushing the bell icon right below the video. And when you do that, enable all notifications and make sure on your phone you have uh, push notifications enabled from YouTube because with three live streams every week and two to three videos, you do not wanna miss out. It's a real fun time every single week. Okay, where to start? Let's start with pancakes and kind of oatmeal because I feel like people love to crush that kind of stuff. I only eat oatmeal, I'm sorry, I only eat uh, pancakes on the weekend. We don't eat oatmeal. During the week I have my quinoa breakfast bowl. This is my new go-to pancake mix. This brand here, Purely Elizabeth, Elizabeth is the bomb. She makes grain-free paleo pancakes. You wanna see ingredients that are literally next level? Check this out. So it's almond flour based, which is great. A little bit of arrowroot starch for the paleo binder, but look after that. We're talking about coconut milk powder. All coconut milk powders do have tapioca maltodextrin. It's not ideal, but not a big deal. But after that, oh my gosh, tiger nuts, one of the uh, highest uh, fat, lowest carb nuts in the world, coconut flour, grass-fed collagen, flax seeds. This is unbelievable. Ch -ch -ch Chia seeds, look at the macros here. The flavor and texture of these are absolutely proper. I would crush these all day, every day. This is great. Now, if you do uh, want something more oatmeal-like, she also makes a cauliflower hot cereal that is paleo because instead of oats, look at this, it's almond protein isolate, which, uh, which is really nice to get the protein content up there, with coconut flakes, almond powder, freeze-dried cauliflower, paleo coconut sugar. Look at these ingredients. This stuff did not exist when I was a little tot running around. I wish it did because this is the kind of stuff you want to eat for a quick and easy breakfast, right? We don't eat too many oats in the house. We don't eat any oats because oats for us have a very bloating effect on the stomach, which I'll talk about in a second. So this is a great um, uh, substitute to that because it is so darn tasty, but still has that warming kind of you know oatmeal feel. So this is fantastic. Before I talk about the oats, and there's a couple really good ones on the market, uh, today's sponsor of the video is Laird Superfood. You guys enjoyed so much of the InstaFuel and their superfood creamers on a recent video. They wanted to sponsor this video because they have a brand new coffee out and we're doing a breakfast haul, so it sounds perfect. They have a organic mushroom infused coffee that is one of the best ones I've ever seen. So organic, which is great for the environment because a lot of times uh, coffee is grown in the rainforest. Single origin Peruvian coffee high altitude grown, which is super premium. These guys make everything premium, infused with functional mushrooms like lion's mane and cordyceps. You know I love that stuff. I put it in my uh, protein smoothie almost every day. This is a fantastic coffee. Now, if you want other superfood items, like a creamer for the coffee, this is creamer with uh, functional mushrooms in there. Most creamers are filled with garbage ingredients like palm oil and sugar. They use coconut milk powder and coconut oil to make it dairy free. They put some uh, mushroom powder in there, a little touch of uh, coconut sugar. And this is what I do on the weekends. I take the hot cocoa with the functional mushrooms and then I put it in a cup of the uh, InstaFuel, which is in my opinion, the best uh, basically um, instant coffee latte on the market. Listen, these guys make best in class products for coffee, now for ground uh, coffee and creamers. They have 20% off for a limited time on the ground coffee and free shipping extended till end of May for all of their products on their website. Use my link down below. They make some awesome stuff. Now, once you make your coffee, you want some oats. If you're gonna eat oats, they have to be organic. I've talked about it before, but oats score very high in glyphosate. Glyphosate is the active ingredient in Roundup. It's because, which was shocking that I learned this, 
oats and wheat are sprayed with Wound-Up at the end of the um, growing process as a desiccant to dry it. They just want to dry it quicker so they can harvest it. So if you don't get organic, it scours very high in glyphosate, which is something I wouldn't want to put in my body. Trader Joe's makes one of the best oatmeals on the go, on the go because you just put hot water in here and then run out the door. Because look at this, it's organic oats with superfood flax seeds, which are very high in omega-3 acid, fatty acids, and chia seeds, more protein, more iron, more fiber. I mean, look at the fiber here. Wow. We got uh, six grams. Fantastic. Combine that with eight grams of protein. What I like about this, organic, no sweetener added. That's what you want to get. If you want something a little more flavorful and sweet without any uh, refined sugar or natural flavors, these dudes. Vigilant Eats. How do you like that name, Art? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Maca Double Chocolate. Ready to have your mind blown here? Organic, gluten-free oats. Dates as the sweetener. Coconut palm sugar, same as coconut sugar as the sweetener. Protein. Uh, mesquite powder. Hemp protein. Monk fruit for a sweetener. It's not low carb and it's not paleo because uh, of the oats. But if you want oatmeal, this is what you want for flavor. Oh, there we go. And this is what you want for just a plain Jane one. This stuff did not exist when I was a little kid. We just had Quaker rolled oats, which are high in glyphosates. They usually put brown sugar or refined sugar in there. Homie don't roll that way. This is how homie rolls now. So that's great. Now, tomorrow is Saturday with the day this video is coming out. We're actually filming it on Friday. I love to make either pasture-raised bacon from Thrive Market, or if you want sausage, this is by far the best sausage at the grocery store. Applegate always does everything right, but I always go organic for Applegate, whether it's the sausages or the bacon, because there's no GMO feed in the chicken. Want to see ingredients that are literally game-changing? Look at that. Organic chicken, apples, a little bit of honey, salt, and spices. How much sugar is in here? Three grams of added sugar. Always look at added sugar for three links. Guys, one gram of sugar per link that is what you want. This is a fantastic one. Now, if you can't find this one or don't want to pay, I think it's an extra dollar. The basic uh, Applegate is good too. Uh, they have pork sausage also, but I would get the no sugar added pork sausage because then they use cane sugar sometimes. Or if you can find one that's pork and apple, because the pork industry is one of the dirtiest farming industries in the country. Factory farm GMO pigs usually, but with chicken, in this case, it's organic, it's non-GMO. These guys do it right. I'm gonna have this tomorrow with my pancakes from Elizabeth. Delicious. Now, maybe you wanna have some hash browns, something we don't typically eat. We'll usually make sweet potato hash browns. Well, this is a very popular brand. It's called Alexia. And you have to get organic when it comes to potatoes because potatoes are in the dirty dozen. The thing is, read the ingredients here, you guys. Punch in there. Organic potatoes, great. Organic seasoning like onion, powder and garlic powder, great. But look at the last two ingredients. Autolyzed yeast extract. Yeast extract is another word for MSG. It's a man-made flavor enhancer, and they're also putting sunflower oil in here. And they tend to do that with all of their potato products, so I wouldn't get that. And it's actually cheaper to get the 365 brand. If you know how to shop Whole Foods, the 365 brand can be your best friend. Because look at this one instead. I'm making this worse. Hold on. So I'm totally fine with that because there's no oil, no yeast extract, and oh man, I didn't buy the organic ones. <laughs> wow, that whole back, I couldn't even open the bag. There is an organic version of this at, uh, at uh, Whole Foods. Uh, totally messed that one up. So yeah, scribble that on there. That was an epic fail. But at Whole Foods in the uh, same aisle right here, the Starbucks sous vide egg bites, they have their own version. And not only is it cleaner than Starbucks and cleaner than the version at uh, Costco, look at this. Now it's not ideal, right? They're using cage-free eggs that have a GMO fee, but still, the other ingredients are not too bad because I've seen in the Costco ones and the uh, Starbucks one, carrageenan, I don't see any carrageenan there. Natural flavors, I don't see any of that. Uh, the heavy cream, <clears throat> the heavy cream is not organic, but like I said, it's not ideal, but it's way cleaner than the options out there. And we're looking at, uh, it's low carb, it's keto. One container, two egg bites, two net carbs or two total carbs. That's what you wanna see. 
So that's really, really cool. Okay, let me wet my whistle. I got a few really cool things at Trader Joe's here. Let's take a look. First of all, they have these overnight oats, which are great because there's no cooking required. There's no nothing required. Here's the deal. Look at the ingredients on these. Can you spot the one ingredient that makes this not Bobby approved? I love the fact that they're using dates as the sweetener. I love that they're actually using real vanilla bean. But do you see the word organic for the rolled oats? No. This would be one of the best clean overnight oats I've seen, but because it's conventional, it scores high in glyphosate. So I think Trader Joe's needs to make this organic and it's good to go. Here's a really cool thing in the frozen section. Shakshuka is like a North African egg and tomato stew. Normally you have to make the spicy tomato sauce with mustard seeds and cumin and peppers and onions. They do that for you. And look at the ingredients. It's super clean. I wish the tomatoes were organic, but I also wish that I was a little bit taller and that Art was a baller. <laughs> um, but everything else is great. Look at that. They're using olive oil, not soybean oil. I think this is great for a weekend, really quick uh, brunch. I would crush that. And then at, oh, there you go. Art, what is this called? Akai. <laughs> Art, oh, you call it Akai. It's an organic acai bowl. And it's pretty darn close to being best in class. When I picked it up, I got really nervous at all these ingredients. But all of the berries and the acai are organic. That's really important because strawberries and blueberries are always dirty dozen. So everything is really good. I don't love the fact that they're using a little bit of cane sugar in the granola. Uh, I don't love the fact that the granola is not organic and that there's a little bit of natural flavor. That being said, they still are using coconut beverage as the base. It's not terrible because there's only two grams of added sugar. Most of these on the market will have double digit added sugars. So not perfect, but it's still good. What I'd rather you do is go to Whole Foods, go to Trader Joe's, get the frozen unsweetened acai packets, blend it up yourself with the same ingredients, a little nut butter, a little bit of coconut milk, and a little bit of fruit and make it yourself. But this is more of like a prepared breakfast haul. Not bad, not bad at all. The one at uh, Costco is pretty good too from the Tattooed Chef. Uh, what else we got here? Let's talk about, I, just, I mentioned Costco. They have one of the best smoothie pouches I've ever seen. I got it at a recent uh, run to uh, Costco. So in this pouch right here is a mix of kale and berries. So it's called the Fresh Start Smoothie. And what I love about this, absolutely love, is look at the ingredients. The berries are all organic, which they have to be because berries are dirty dozen. And actually, spinach, spinach and kale are two of the dirtiest of the dirty dozen by weight, and these are organic. Wow, this is fantastic, right? Drop that pouch into the blender with your favorite almond milk or uh, grass-fed milk, maybe a frozen banana and a scoop of almond butter. Power smoothie to start the day. That's cool, you guys. Making life easy, but still staying healthy. Now, what if you want a warm kind of bowl or some kind of like burrito? My girl, Amy. Amy always does it right. She's an OG from California. And I've talked about her before, but pretty much anything she makes is very, very high quality. It's all meatless. But I shiver in my booties when I see a breakfast burrito because God forbid knows what ingredients are in there. Well, these ingredients are amazing cause everything's organic, which matters because this is uh, made from tofu. So it's non-GMO soybeans. But what really matters to me is that it's organic wheat flour. Of course, it's not whole wheat, but wheat, just like oats, score high in glyphosates because it's sprayed with Roundup as a desiccant. She's the only one who uses organic wheat. And look at this. It's all clean ingredients. What kind of oil? Expeller pressed and high oleic sunflower. Expeller pressed, meaning not highly processed. High oleic refers to a, a healthier fatty acid profile. Amazing, that's great. The tofu's great, she does it right. Uh, really cool stuff. This is awesome, I got a ton of stuff, you guys. This is so close to being Bobby approved. This is a brand new prepared waffle in the frozen section of Whole Foods. It's called Evergreen. Can you spot the one ingredient that doesn't make it Bobby approved here? So check this out. I love the fact that it's whole wheat flour, which is a complex carbohydrate. Look at that. 
right? Honey, bananas, peanut butters, really, really cool. But it's not organic. You guys got to use organic whole wheat flour, in my opinion, because we have that glyphosate issue. So that's a no. But what's a yes, but could be better, is a brand new keto chocolate chip toaster waffle. Now, all toaster waffles, for the most part, are garbage. They're going to have uh, processed oils like canola and sunflower and soybean. These guys are using, for the oil, high oleic sunflower. Now, I did email them. It's also expeller pressed. I think they really need to put that on the box. But what I love about this is the fact that they're using unsweetened, erythritol-based chocolate chips. Look at the flour they're using. Coconut flour and cassava starch, which is um, and tiger nuts here, which is a, um, a paleo and a keto flour, and then they're using some uh, fiber to back it out there. And we look at the uh, carbs up here. So it's 11 total carbs minus the fiber. It takes you down to eight net carbs minus the sugar alcohol, six net carbs. Now, if they used actually organic eggs and say avocado or coconut oil, it'd be 100% Bobby approved. But this, my friends, is one of the best you can get right now on the market. You think of like Lego My Ego, the kind of stuff we grew up with, Art. That stuff is horrific. Now, I saw this in the grocery store, in the uh, egg aisle. I've never seen this. This is pasteurized, pasteurized liquid whole eggs. Now, I don't think you should be eating egg whites. Egg whites are the inflammatory part of the egg. You really wanna be eating the yolk with the white, which is lower inflammation, and a lot of the good stuff, the omega-3 fatty acids and the good saturated fat from a pasteurized egg yolk is really good for you. When you're just eating egg whites, which this one isn't, it's protein, yes, but it's the inflammatory part of the egg. I really don't recommend doing it. This is cool. I wish they did the organic or the non-GMO version of this because even though it's pasture-raised, uh, they still, uh, still have a supplemental feed of grain and it's going to be a GMO grain. But wow, talk about confusing. Hey, this is pasture-raised and pasteurized, but really, really cool product. What else we got here? I think that might be it. All right, we just covered a ton of stuff, you guys. I always say this after a review like this. It's a very exciting time to be alive because when I was growing up in the 80s and 90s, this stuff did not exist. It was just a bunch of garbage, very few options. Now you have options from keto, paleo, gluten-free, dairy-free, with a lot of them best-in-class ingredients. So, you know, check them out at your local grocery store. Make sure to check out the Laird Superfood sale on the mushroom coffee and uh, get that free shipping. I love this stuff. I'll be having this tomorrow morning with my pure Elizabeth pancakes and my organic chicken sausage from Applegate. That's how we roll on the weekends. I love it. So, uh, like, subscribe, share, you guys. The only way this channel keeps rocking and rolling the way it has is by you spreading love. Art and I got two more videos going below us right now, but we will see you very soon. Until then, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love, and peace. Gotta put this back in the freezer now.